We've got a ton of respect for West Virginia. Coach Huggins, <clears throat> they're terrific in so many ways, year in and year out. Um, it's, uh, it's exciting to play in New York City, to play in Madison Square Garden, to play at such a prestigious event, and to, uh, to get our biggest win thus far uh, in a very early season. Of course, we got a ways to go. Proud of these guys, uh, these two as much as anybody. Uh, Kayvon was very aggressive. Andrew continues to play with a ton of poise, mature beyond his years. Um, overall, this team has defended at a pretty high level and made enough shots, got to the foul line a little bit more tonight. Uh, I thought that that was the, uh, the biggest factor in the game. Questions for the players, please? Sure. Kayvon, given the struggles you've had this season with some really good opponents, this was just a grinded out, kind of ugly affair. Just it feels good to get a win like this under your belt <laughs> under any circumstances possible. Um, yes, it does feel good to get a win like this, knowing that West Virginia is a, um, a hard playing team. You know, we knew that we had to come out and just match their intensity to us, just to give us a chance to win the, the ball game. Andrew, when you commit to Clark, do you expect to sort of be thrown into the starting line as a starting point guard pretty much from day one? Um, I didn't necessarily uh, expect it, but um, I was going to try to work to, to get that spot. And, um, Kind of, kind of got. Andrew, what's been the biggest learning experience for you as you transition from the preseason and now a month deep into the actual regular season, and facing all kinds of different opponents in different venues around the country? Um, the biggest learning um, thing for me is probably just to be as accountable as possible. And I want to do work every day, and practice too, just. Um, Kind of work on what we need to do to win games, and, I, and the games just kind of have to execute, and that's probably been the thing I've been trying to work on the most. So. And then you guys, sorry. That's okay. Uh, yeah. uh, just follow You guys had a big dry spell in the first half, started with the second. Um, you know, have you had you encountered anything like that to this point in the season where you just couldn't get the ball to run a bucket, and how did you guys kind of snap out of that a little bit? Um, uh, I'll probably put it on myself, probably, because uh, I'm the point guard, I probably should have controlled the game a little bit better. Um, but through a dry spot, I think we just have to put on our stuff and uh, stay poised and stay calm and uh, defeat the pressure. Um, Andrew, this goes out to you. So, how do you like playing in New York? You played in high school at Christ the King with Monteverdi, and now you play tonight at the Garden. How do you like playing in New York? Um, it's, it's amazing. Big city, big place. Uh, everybody kind of dreams of playing in a place like this, and I uh, just have to get the win for sure. Anything else for the players? Right here. The, the dry spell that, that Andrew was talking about, how do you guys fight through that, especially knowing the kind of defense it was? Um, just like with Coach White just telling us um, when we're not making shots, we just got to um, make up for it on, def on, on the defensive end, just got to keep playing hard, and then eventually they're going to fall down. Anything else? We good? Thanks, John. Right, questions for Coach, please? Go ahead, right here. Coach, um, you guys didn't shoot particularly well in the first half of the second half. Yeah. Um, you came in, first half was like, like a little matchup zone. You came to get length on the perimeter, um, helped you win this game, the second half, especially the second half. Yeah, the. the our guys' attention to detail in the in the um, third we call it thirteen or one three one was, was pretty good. I mean, we haven't played a lot of it. Um, we uh, we worked a lot on it this fall and even a little bit in the summer. And uh, we got off to a pretty good start. We're getting a couple stops and we just rode it. Uh, I didn't envision that coming into the game, but they West Virginia's a really good offensive team. Obviously, they're, they're terrific defensively. Uh, and on the glass as well, especially the offensive glass. Um, but offensively, they've been in a really good rhythm so far this year. They've got numerous shooters. Kanate is a, is a load on the interior. And obviously, Coach Hugs runs really good stuff. They pound you on the interior. and um, Our 1-3-1 our one, one, um, was definitely a big factor for us uh, tonight. Right here, Coach, please. What does it say about your group Then the final two and a half minutes? You make 11 free throws to basically seal it to put the game away. Yeah, hopefully that, that gives us some confidence moving forward because we struggled from the foul line. And we struggled from the foul line from the foul line again tonight until the end. Um, so 
think you know confidence is such a big factor at the foul line. Um, it's crazy. We, we shoot really well in practice. We've got a number of guys that, that are good shooters. So hopefully this uh, this gets us going a little bit to settle this in at the foul line. Yeah. You mentioned uh, Konate earlier, and I'm just wondering like, how did you get him to kind of struggle and be not yeah. active today? Uh, we had guys flying around. Um, my guys played hard. I mean, we, we, we do play hard. We've, we've defended at a high level all year. We just struggled to score at times. Um, and, and, and at times again tonight, it's the high level defense. But um, we, we've got some some post guys that will fight a little bit. And then we've got some perimeter guys that will go in there and help them a little bit. And uh, we try to get them to see numerous bodies as much as possible. And a couple of times he was... He was isolated and, and um, you know, he, had, he had a bunch of space and, and he scored those. Uh, but yeah, you know, just I think you've got to credit everyone that was out there because he's such a um, you know a, a, a big focus of the scouting report that it wasn't just our base, it was our base and our guards. In the back, you know, you know, you have Kayvon Allen, you know, he's got the old years with him, but slow start he got off to. You know, you even last thing you see more. Back a bit. I, I do. I, I really. I thought he played really well. You know, he's he's five of thirteen, um, so he gets thirteen shots up to our next guy who got six. I like that. You know, I tell him that. I tell him. Uh, I say it all the time in the media. I say it to him in front of his teammates. When he's aggressive, all of our guys, I think, gain a little bit more confidence because he's he's such a talented scorer. He leads by example. Um, and when he's when he settles in and plays with confidence, our entire team does. It seems like this year um, and, and last year as well. So uh, he was he was good. Played really well. Okay. All right, last question right here. Um, okay. Good. Coach, um, congratulations on the win tonight. Love what you're doing down in Gainesville. Um, what does it mean for Florida to land a kid like Scotty Lewis now, and how much of an impact do you think he'll bring make, bring to the Gators next year? Mike, good on that. Um, well, it's, it's big. You know, we recruited Scotty for a long, long time. Um, and Alex um, um, from up this way. Um, Scotty is, uh, he's very talented. He's uh, very unique. You know, he's, he's, a, he's a wonderful kid from a great family and uh, about as well-rounded a recruit as I've, as I've ever recruited. You know, he's, he's, uh, he's very talented on the court and off the court. He's got a great motor, um, loves to compete, and you know, we can't wait to, to get him on campus. He's going to be a really good player. Okay. Thank you, Coach.